Hey everyone, and welcome to Quick Tips for Guitar by Anthem Songs. I am Crawford, and today we're going to look at variations of the D chord and A chord. Now, a typical D chord, right? You've got the second fret, first string, third fret, second string, second fret, third string. Very typical D chord. And also, a lot of people ask, well, which strings do you play for the D chord? Well, Technically, you're supposed to play just the bottom four. That's what sounds the best. You can kind of get away with playing the A string, which is number five, but you definitely don't want to play the E string with it. That just does not sound very good at all. So what a lot of people do is, like me, I just simply bring my thumb over and I mute that first, or that sixth string, the E. So you can hear, I'm not getting any real tone out of it. I'm just getting this kind of clicking sound, which you won't hear when you play the whole chord. So that's typically what I do. I always mute that string, that E string. Or if you're really good, you can, you can play the bottom part, like the first four strings, and that's your D chord. However, we want to talk today about playing the sustain chord and the two chord. So D sus, D. S-U-S, you'll see it written like that, or D2, they're two different chords. So when I've got my D chord, if I add my pinky to the third fret on the first string, I get what's called a D sustain or D sus chord. There's my regular D. So you can just play around with that. It's kind of a nice sound. If I take my middle finger off and I only have my first and ring fingers, that's called a D2. Or I can do the exact same thing with the A. There's my A chord, I can add a sus by adding my pinky. Or I could take my ring finger off, so I just got my two first and, and second fingers together. An A2 chord, so it's. So let's put this together in a song. How would I put this together? Well, let's take the song "Lead Me to Calvary." It's one of the great classic hymns. King of my life, I'm me now. Right, great song. But if you'll notice that when I play the D chord, I'm actually playing the first note of the melody. King. Now, if I want to go down to the next note, King of my life, all I have to do is play that D2. King of my life. I... Now, here's the little trick. You can go to the G chord, which it's written with the G next, crown me now, or you can just do a sustain. Now it's not gonna give you the full sound, but it does, if you're playing with other instruments, give kind of a cool sound. So it's King of my life, I crowd me now. So play around with the D, D2, and D sus chords. And then if I was gonna go to the A chord, which Thine shall the glory be. A sus. A, regular A. That's kind of a really cool way to go to it. Da, 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 da. Lest I forget thy thorns round, round, So much better than just playing the regular chord. So D, D2, D sus, A, A2, A sus. Practice them and you'll, you'll make things sound so much better. So that's another quick tip. Hope to hear from you soon. Leave comments, send us an email, team at anthemsongs.com and we'll see you next time.